అసంయుత హస్త ద సింగిల్ హ్యాండ్ జెస్టర్స్ దిస్ వీడియో ఆఫ్ సింగిల్ హ్యాండ్ జెస్టర్స్ ఇస్ స్పెషలీ డిజైన్డ్ ఫర్ ద బెనిఫిట్ ఆఫ్ బిగినర్స్ ద వే అ జెస్టర్ నీడ్స్ టు బి హెల్డ్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ మీనింగ్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో మెన్షన్డ్ పతాక హియర్ ద థమ్ ఇస్ బెంట్ టు టచ్ ద ఫింగర్స్ అండ్ ద ఫింగర్స్ ఆర్ ఎక్స్టెండెడ్ దిస్ ఇస్ పతాక and the meaning is a flag tripataka when the ring finger is bent in a pataka hand it becomes tripataka and this denotes a flag with three colors artha pataka when the ring finger and the little finger are bent it then becomes ardha pataka which denotes half of a flag kartari mukha the index finger and the middle finger are outspread this looks like a scissor doesn't it mayurakyo when we join the ring finger to the thumb and the other fingers are extended then it is mayura hasta depicting a peacock artha chandra the thumb of the pataka hand is stretched out it becomes artha chandra the meaning is half moon arala when the index finger is curved to touch the thumb it becomes arala and it means bent shukatunda in this hasta we find the index finger and the ring finger curved to denote a parrot's head mushti when all the four fingers are bent upon the palm and the thumb is set on them then it becomes mushti and it means a fist shikhara if the mushti hand has its thumb raised up it becomes shikhara depicting a peak kapitha the index finger bends and rests upon the thumb it is then called kapitha meaning elephant apple kataka mukha there are three varieties in kataka mukha which have different meanings now this is a mudra which is used frequently in pure dance that is nritta we need to rest the index finger and the middle finger on the thumb and the meaning is opening of a bracelet kataka mukha in this variety of kataka mukha the middle and the index fingers are curved and rest on the thumb denoting a bird kataka mukha this last variety denotes a girl the thumb and the index fingers need to be held together with middle finger looking down and the rest of the fingers extended suchi the index finger is raised and the rest of the fingers are pressed to the palm this denotes a needle going forward in the next mudra maintain the suchi hand releasing the thumb which makes chandrakala meaning digit of the moon padma kosha when the fingers are separated and a little bent and the palm is also a little hollowed the hand is called padma kosha and the meaning is lotus bud sarpa shirsha In this hasta the tips of the fingers in the pataka hand are bent which looks like a snake's hood Mruga shirsha when the thumb and the little fingers are extended and the three fingers in the middle are bent forward it forms mruga shirsha denoting a deer's head Simha mukha the tips of the middle finger and the ring finger are applied to the thumb 
and the rest of the fingers are extended this hand means a lion's face kangula or langula moving on we need to hold padma kosha and tuck in the ring finger it becomes kangula which looks like a bell alapadma here the fingers beginning from the little finger are bent and separated from one another the hand is called alapadma denoting a full bloomed lotus chatura let's observe the next mudra carefully the thumb is placed in the middle of the middle finger and the adjoining two fingers are clinging to the middle finger and the little finger is outstretched it becomes chatura meaning a square bhramara when the thumb and the middle finger touch each other and the fourth finger is curved and the remaining fingers are outstretched the hand is called bhramara meaning a bee hamsasya if the thumb and the fourth finger touch each other and the remaining fingers are outstretched the hand is called hamsasya denoting a swan beak hamsapaksha if the little finger of the sarpashirsha hand is outstretched the hand is called hamsapaksha meaning swan's wing samdamsha if the fingers of padma kosha are closed and opened then it is samdamsha and it means pincers mukula if we bring all the fingers of our hand to meet together then it is called mukula meaning a flower bud tamra chuda we need to curve the index finger and hold the rest of the fingers in a closed fashion then it becomes tamra chuda denoting a cock trishula we need to hold the thumb and the little finger stretching the middle three fingers upright as if to show number 3 it denotes trishula the powerful weapon why don't you try now say the name hold the hasta and practice